you very much, Georgi, and uh, thank you very much for all of the panelists of this welcome speech uh, panel. And uh, it was very important to uh, underline the capacity of member states, of international organizations, and of uh, NGOs uh, uh, into the common uh, understanding and common acknowledgement uh, both of the work of Lemkin uh, but also of uh, the legacy that actually entails the whole international community towards the prevention of genocide and mass atrocities. As we know Raphael Lemkin was a, uh, was a visionary into uh, putting forward the, the concept of, uh, of the basic uh, first uh, human rights convention of uh, this new system uh, based on the United Nations and uh, the primary goal for him was not just to prevent but to punish as well but part of the punishment uh, is part of the prevention as well because of the deterrence effect that uh, uh, should, should and I say should because uh, always and uh, more often doesn't. Uh, and this shows us that, uh, uh, of course, as, uh, as Mona uh, said and suggested that the ICC is there and was uh, uh, a very basic, solid concept uh, for international justice. Uh, it pushes us to think that prevention is still needed. We cannot have a judiciary system for international crimes without having a basic solid capacity of prevention. And the whole aspect of pushing for uh, the exercise of the Raphael Lankin Prize is to actually give the capacity to the international community to think that without prevention, even punishment is not possible. And part of the uh, basic point that uh, uh, the foundation is today fighting with is the basic knowledge and understanding that there is very little capacity of the member states to give access to funding and to financial resources for prevention ideas and for prevention capacities and for prevention research that is the basic knowledge and the basic capacity that we actually need in order to be able also to punish or to prevent the punishment in a, in a further uh, future. And uh, mm -hmm. this is a basic concept that uh, uh, I understood when I started reading about the enormous amount of money that we need today to deal with past genocides like Rwanda, like uh, Srebrenica, mm -hmm. and the cost that is uh, that is in the shoulders of the international community, not, not having said on the shoulders of, of the local communities that are actually experiencing uh, the, the, the legacy with the, with the past genocides. And uh, how little would have cost the prevention of those crimes? How little in terms of uh, not just money, uh, but also political will? Because it's today also a matter of political will to uh, uh, address the aspects of genocide and reconciliation that are also part of the threats that we have in, in, in fragile state situations and, uh, and in other cases. So I thank you again and uh, we have just a technical break now to be able